the whole idea of what we're going to do is we can select what we're going to spray through the field. So we won't spray the beans, we won't spray the corn, it'll just spray the weeds that are out there. And we can save what we found on average up to 88% of your contact herbicide going across the field. How do you do that? So basically, with our AI system, um, we have cameras, 24 cameras that go across the boom. With those, they take 5,500 images a second as it goes across the field. And then all those images are sent to a GPU, which is a graphic processing unit. So it literally will look in each of those frames and decide if there's a weed that's in there. And it'll also know if there's a corn plant, if you're in a cornfield. So it sees that corn and it sprays everything else that's in there. So with that, since you're just hitting it in a 10 by 10 inch area with herbicide, we're saving all that money because you're not broadcasting across the whole thing. And in that process, we're, we know that there's gonna be a certain yield increase that's gonna happen because of hail and different reasons. We just haven't had the chance yet to get the exact data on how much of an increase you'll get. How does it do this? Well, they like say, we actually train the system to know what a corn plant looks like. Literally take thousands and thousands of pictures at all stages of growth. We do that with every crop. And then that way, when it sees, sees a crop, whatever crop you put in the monitor, so it knows what you're in, it just recognizes everything else is not a weed, or it's not that corn plant, and it will spray it. Um, it's literally artificial intelligence. The more you use it, the better it gets at it. So, and we have a dual boom system on here, because it's very important that you still put down your residual, it kills the weeds before they come out. Um, and then our side is a second boom on there. We have nozzles with the PWM that turn on and we'll just spray that 10 by 10 inch area. And with that, obviously we're putting on dual products. So on your sprayer, we'll have the main tank, just like what you had before, we'll leave that alone. And we add a 250 gallon tank to run our system. And with that, because you're using so much chemical, now you can afford to put the right chemicals in there to make sure that your kosher water hemp, you get a really strong dose and it'll kill that without harming the other plants out there. What are the other parts of the system? What all does a farmer have to put on his equipment to be able to run this? So first of all, we do the installs. We put everything on there. We literally replace the old boom that's on there with our whole system. And it'll just mount up to your center section and we add an extra tank and a monitor in the cab. And we do all that, because um, we can run up to 15 mile an hour. At that speed, everything has hit the exact spot to make sure that you get uh, that plant killed and uh, totally saturated. Any restrictions or uh, considerations that a farmer has to, to make before um, putting it on or using it? So right now we put systems on case, deer, and hagee machines. We're going to be doing millers. We'll be doing some fans here before long. Our biggest restriction is there's two things. One, we don't want fields where they're really hilly with lots of terraces because we want our booms to stay relatively level to make sure we hit those weeds. And the other one is we, we had to put how far back we go. So we basically stop at 2014 because we want newer machines because we don't want the center section to be, you know, the bushings to be bad and it, you know, things worn out. You're spending quite a bit of money. We need to make sure that the system works well through the hydraulics and everything. So that's the two main things that you want to consider. Any, uh, uh, if a field is just extraordinarily weedy, is, will this take care of it? <laughs> It will take care of it. If it's, if it's just a solid mass of weeds, you're probably better off to just go ahead and broadcast spray. It, it really does its best work when you have sporadic weeds out because you're saving more money on the, on the chemical. I guess one other thing, uh, it needs to have a good boom height control because we still want that boom to stay at fairly low between that 20 and 40 inches going across the field. Um, that is essential if you have, some systems work really good out there and some do not. We can always add another boom height control to it if we need to, but that's, that is essential that you have good control of that boom as you go across there.
if the eyes on there see the weeds, do they need to be smaller or below the level of the eyes that are on the boom? You're going to get a better coverage if the weed is below the boom, but it will work on from, you know, it'll see a weed about the size of a pinky fingernail up to the big weeds. But if obviously that weed's really tall, you just got to go slow and make sure it gets good and covered.